What's up, sweetie pies? My name is Cake Game Lady, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. If this is your first time of watching one of my videos, and you'd like to see more content when it arrives, then please click on the subscribe button below, or click on that little bell that will let you know when I upload more videos. I'm now going to do the last episode, the bonus episode, and hopefully I get to see what what the story will be. I know it's about, you know, Max and Chloe in the past. I think right before Max leaves for Seattle. And I have no idea what to expect from this. I'm guessing it's when she tells Chloe that she'll be leaving for Seattle. But I'm not really sure. Unless it has to do something else. But I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in this part. So we'll get started, shall we? Here we go. Bonus episode. Bonus episode, farewell. I like that. The flag. Wow. Is that a dollar figure? That's a realistic looking doll. Oh, dolls. Oh, great. Is that dynamite? <sighs> Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? Yes. She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. She'll feel like the explosion. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. Why can't you do this outside? She's gonna notice a burnt stain on the floor. <laughs> Here we go. That's one way to get rid of your dolls. Just blowing them up, like Sid. Oh, great. It burnt out. Ooh. Yep, there's the stain. That'll be fun to explain to mom. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. You're saying, or that was amazing. That was amazing. That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? I know some like things. Why now. are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. That's true. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning, too. It looks pretty clean to me. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Well, her closet is bare. What in the world? Okay, so where are Neeks? Usually, I turn down the music because I don't like want to get copyright. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. Mm -hmm. I it's can't believe those days are all over now. Oh yeah, this is when she goes to Seattle. Probably gonna have to tell Chloe this. In a That's few a days, line, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. Or, you know, when you grow up, you can come back and visit. You can visit, right? But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? Here it is. Bonus episode, farewell. Love the shoes, though. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. Yeah. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Let's see. Maybe I can save it? Or I can have it? What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, I love that right? one. No. The Gryffindor. It's fine. Can I have it then? It's filled with holes and falling apart. Oh yeah, I see it now. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Why though? Can't you just use it to wear inside, not outside? Well, that sucks. I can't believe Chloe wants to part with this. Seems so unlike her. Unless something's happening, like, is she going through something right now? Uh, oh, look at that. We bought this as a gag years ago. 
I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. Is that a jawbreaker? It looks it, doesn't Chloe's it? Chloe's been beating me for a while. Man, that m but uh, that growth spurt could come any day now. Yep. Well, guess what, Max? You didn't get it yet. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. Why would they say that? That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? Yeah, but you got all that, that big brown or black stain now. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. So she did get the scholarship from the Prescotts. Okay. Acceptance letter. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Okay, dear parents, congratulations. Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for 2008 admission to Blackwell Academy. We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of the 1,200 applicants. There's that many? Your child excelled in all criteria for admission and an open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March 26th, April 2nd. Is the deadline to inform us that your attention is regarding admission. Your admission reply form is included. For those who require financial aid, please contact Blackwell's office for uh, financial assistance. We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe to the Blackwell Academy family. Sincerely, Marco S. Gonzalez, Director of Missions. I thought, you know, this she got on a scholarship. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. Yeah, but what that about all changes. The students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. I'm guessing yes. Should I push her further or say mm. nothing? Let me see what she says. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? Probably has some I things know, with just, Victoria. I just like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know There's what I There's no mean. normals? I, I hate fake people. You're real. Aw. Thanks. This is gonna be harder when I have to tell her that I'm moving away. Camera? Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. Yeah, she doesn't get it till later. Like in the last one. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. I'll say. I remember using one of those back in school. It was pretty amazing. Too bad they don't have those now. Unless you buy them really expensive ones. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. All these things I'm seeing, you know, is not much trash, except for the jawbreaker. Unless she's, like, keeping that as a memento. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. Yeah, she I has... still pick her butt in P.E., though. Yeah, a B in physical education. I don't know if that's, like, A minus or not. I guess not, it's just A's. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Aw. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Don't be, I'm um, pretty sure. Be sure. This was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? Really sick. The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> Way different from the others. How about you? Any new moves? Oh boy. Uh, totally. Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. 
More like uh, Air Banjo. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right, back to the junk mines. What exactly is she digging around there? I'm not seeing anything. Let's see, unicorn. What does that say? Friends? Poster. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Comic strip? Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Cloenstein's okay. I'll see. The adventurous adventures of Supermax and Dr. Cloenstein. Our, our crime fighting has really soared since you created those rocket boosters. Of course, the power of flight does tend to make things easier. Dr. Klonstein? Seems like it's foreshadowing. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. <laughs> okay, open. Was this, um, train cards? Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. Shady Mesh Abe. What is this, like a boy brand group? Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. And every year they update the textbooks, they have to buy new ones. Let's see, anything else? No? Okay, what can I trash? The safe boy being cart. Oh, okay. So, what can I get rid of? Well, probably that jawbreaker. Is that yeah, it's jawbreaker? What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? It's a serious problem. It looks like she doesn't want to get rid of it. You promised me we'd finish it together, no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Okay, so. Fine. I might as well lick it. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> okay, so she threw in there. Uh, what else? Mm, how about the boy bank cards? How about these oh, it was a, trading cards? A box. Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? Uh, Sharpie boob jobs. Funny back then. Sharpie boob jobs. You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Man, I'm not throwing any of these away. Then again, I understand how throwing away old stuff is. While they decrease in value, the sentimental value increases. Let's see. And... What else? How about this one? What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. You beat me, we never play. You beat me. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. <laughs> Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Yep, that's not going. <laughs> okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Well, I think I'm done unless there's something else. How about this one? This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? Uh, you never, you never use it. You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you <laughs> didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. 
put it back. Now, I don't know if she's getting really irritated with me or not. I probably can't suggest Mr. Sharky over here, but I don't know what she'll say then. Say, stop messing around, Max! Okay, I might as well talk to her. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. <sighs> well, it wasn't exactly the purge Mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? It looks better. Right. Just needs some cleaning so up. That's we've it. Got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I don't know about I the clean slate part. We did look to tell dolls. Chloe I'm leaving, or I could let us enjoy the day first and. Tell her later. Uh, should I tell her now or should I tell her later? Well, if I tell her now, she'll, you know, the rest of the day would be ruined. Plus, they'll put her in a bad mood, so I'll tell her later. The possibilities are not exactly endless. the best time yet. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! What is it? Do you have any oh, idea what this is? A cassette tape. Pirate related. <laughs> uh, yeah, pirate related. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So five years ago? Eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. But you'll find out. Ready to find out? <laughs> A vast future wayfarer. Ye have <laughs> uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Silver. <laughs> you are such so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, <laughs> Treasure ye seek. Mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> William. Get away. We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. Felt like a great dad. As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek, you've come to the right place. But treasure? be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. <laughs> to find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, <laughs> only those with pure hearts will be able to see. What the amulet shows them. The manuscripts <laughs> of Captain Bluebeard. Good luck. And uh why? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what those Dude, mean. Dude, that was Dorky, hilarious, amazing. Uh amazing. Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. Let's do it. Where are we gonna get the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard? I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Okay. A textbook? What? A map? Our old sketchbook. Oh. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Okay, property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. It's cute. I love the picture there. The ship and everything. Mom. Let's see. Crow's Nest, Treasure Keep, Cannons, Plank, Galley, Cockpit. Usually the Treasure Keep is on the bottom of the ship. Look at that. <laughs> Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. I love the eye patch. Pogo the Pirate. Aww. And the gang. So cute. No bathing, no, what does it say, boys on the ship? No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. 
Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. Uh, what's it say? Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. I'm guessing that's mom, Joyce. Surely she has heard of how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we, may, we must make sure the map is only readable to us. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunder of riches, Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Possibly. There's like um, blue lines. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it it's is, probably there's the last no way page. I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? Alright. Time to find this map. Okay. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Let's see, 100%. Great job, Chloe. Please pay attention to class and drawing picture with Maxine. And that was... I don't know. Okay, Star Stripes. They do Civil War questions? I mean, look at that. I wonder what grade this was when they were learning this. And... look. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but... This is pretty cool. Still, why am I looking at that, though? Make your own story? I remember writing this. It's a story where you choose what happens. Wonder if I could still get to the end. Let me go look. Max and Chloe's sewer adventure. Ah. Let's see. You are Max and Chloe, the best friends and students in school. You sit in class until suddenly a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It's so cute. Do you want to pet it? Pet the squirrel or don't pet the squirrel? Uh, let's see. Eight. You go to the, gr you go to the window and pet the squirrel. Of course, why wouldn't you? It's a cute squirrel. You want to pet it. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, you say. Ah, stop biting me, you say next. Because the squirrel is now biting your hand. Man, that's a vicious squirrel. It's too, but it's too late. You have rabies and Mr. Anders has to shoot you because you don't, so you don't bite anyone else. They gave this to kids back then? This makes her very sad. Well, when she's dead, then what can... There's no way you can be sad. Guess you shouldn't have pet the squirrel. Okay, what would happen if you didn't pet the squirrel? Uh, why don't you like squirrels? They're cute and nice, but this one attacked me and killed me. You must be very mean. The squirrel seems annoyed that you annoyed her. It's a uh, her... She runs in, steals the book report off your desk, and runs back outside. The squirrel stole my book report, you yell the, you tell the teacher. Uh-huh, whatever you say, Mr. Andrews sa responds, clearly not believing you. What do you do, chase the squirrel or stay in class? Well, she has my book report, I'm gonna fail. As soon as Miss Andrews turns around, you run out the window, chase the squirrel. That is a very thing bad to do, because you don't get in trouble later. But you probably will. Outside, you look around... And you find you can't find the squirrel. So where is she? Oh, there she is. She's sitting right next to the sewer hole. Okay. You run up to her, but she gets scared and jumps down. Oh boy. Do you really want to go down there? Uh, that or find another way. Oh, there's a po many possibilities in the sewer. Okay, you're stupid. Crossed out brain. <laughs> you leap down into the sewer. Thankfully, there's a pile of trash, banana peel, and dirty diapers to land on. Ugh. Whew! You hear a squirrely sound in the distance, so you run to follow it. There are many twists and turns. Eventually, you come to a fork in the road. But now's not the time for eating, so you put the fork down and consider the pass in front of you. <laughs> On the, any ground, you see a ta trail of tiny footprints in life and a trail of chewed up paper to the right. Which way would you go? Well, tiny footprints would fit a squirrel. And I don't know about the paper thing. I mean, we're on a sewer, so... Nine. You picked you picked right. I mean left. Which was right and it's confusing. In the distance you see the squirrel, but he's not moving. In fact, he's dead. Man, who would kill a poor squirrel? That poor squirrel killed me before. 
Suddenly, the ground begins to shake. Around the corner, a giant rat appears. It's the biggest rat you've ever seen. The biggest anything you've ever seen. It's a rat king. The rat king is wearing a crown and staying on the throne of all your missing homework, including your book report. What would you do? Uh, run towards it or run away? What would I do if I run towards it? Your dad always tells you to run towards your problems, not away from them. You run right towards the king. At first, he seems surprised. You try to punch him in the face, but you forgot he has a long, hairy, gross tail. He wraps you like a bow constructor and drops you in his mouth, swallowing you in one gulp. Now you get to see what's inside of a rat looks like. But that would make a great science report. Too bad you won't be able to tell anyone. That's bad. Okay, how about five? Uh, you run away like scary cat. I don't blame you. That thing is gross. As you run away, you trip on a small, shiny object. You pick it up. It's a lighter. Your mom never lets you play with these. But she's not here right now, is she? Now is your chance to kill the Rat King and protect all the students' homework once and for all. Or possibly burn it. This is your chance to be here, do you? Just kidding. You don't get a choice. You may get to choose some things, but I'm still the author here. You have to attack the Rat King. But how do you want to attack him? Again, if you burn the throne, you'll burn everything. Burn his tail. You decide to burn his tail. Good plan. Whoosh! The Rat King's tail is on fire. He does not like that one bit. He starts freaking out, waving his tail around like crazy. You know all that diaper and trash he landed on? Those are highly flammable. Okay, how? And the sewer catches on fire. You're surrounded by gross sewer flames. Now, is, is this really how you'd want to die? Burning to death with the Rat King in a disgusting sewer? Yes, it is. Okay, how about... What was that again? Um. Okay. Um. Thirteen. Okay. You decide to burn the Rat King stone. It hurts you to burn all that amazing homework, including your wonderful book report. But he remembers for a good reason. As soon as the throne catches on fire, the Rat King becomes screaming, "No! My throne!" Suddenly, the Rat King begins to shrink. Before long, he is back to the size of a normal rat. He can't even climb out of his huge crown. Aw, he's so cute now. Really? After all that? You run to class and tell Mrs. Xander about the Rat King and everything that happened. Not only does she forgive you for not having your book report, but she declares you are the greatest hero in the school. Duh. The, the end. Until the next Max and Chloe adventure. Okay? Oh, yes! Take that, Rat King. Seriously? She forgives me even though I didn't have my book report? I wish some teacher was like that. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Uh, yeah, pose with Chloe. Especially after all we s no. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. Uh, textbook. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Stars and Stripes? Not sure I learned much about the Stars and Stripes. That was one the, uh, you know, the exam was on. About the Civil War. Is that it? It looks it. There's a blue stripe. Bingo. Why would she put that in there? Even close. Okay, so secret. Um, Chloe's secret lair, dark cavern, treasure island, and Price Castle. So which one's the end? I'm guessing. Um, we start at Price Castle. That's where we are, and we're going to all these. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we what hid is the inside amulet? a dark cavern. AKA the attic. Ugh. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight fun. years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Still there or still scary? Still there? You think it's still there? Should be. As long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and when will this once anyway? we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. I'm going we'll to the attic? At the pirate ship. You mean 
the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! <laughs> Chloe seems so into this. If that this makes me has more to be Why? my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. Oh, believe me, you will when you go into school, Max. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. And she's still using the hair dye? Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. Yeah. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Who wouldn't want to be? You get to sail, you get to be free, and everything else. So... I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. At least they pieced it back together, even though you can see the crack still. I'd say that's good. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. Then why bother having them? I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. Oh, you'll see, Max, in a few years. Well, they moved the bed. It was against the wall. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. I wish I could eat at the two whales. <sighs> What's that? It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Aw, it's cute. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. Like Narnia. I don't think I could ever handle a real-life murder investigation. You'll pay with your life. Wow. In nicotine gum? Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Yep. Hmm. I say that's good. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Oh boy. Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. I would like to begin saying we are thrilled to have Chloe at Blackwell. Rest assured her scholarship is not in jeopardy at this moment. However, she's having trouble transitioning to this new, more challenging environment. All A's and one B, and that's, you know, not exactly challenging. I'm emailing the setup a time to talk about an incident that occurred last week. What happened last week? I'm very concerned that, about Chloe's behavior and would like to work with you to take steps correct as soon as possible. I'm sure you're dedicated to Chloe's success here as we are. What exactly did she do last week? Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Chloe was not the only student to act out that way, but if you ask me, Marissa Rogers isn't the victim, she's the bully. Oh, this is two from, you know, William. Maybe if both sides of the story were her before placing blame, your school would be less challenging environment for your students. Focus on your school. I'll focus on my daughter. Dad a boy, Dad. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. I forgot to tell you Mrs. Rogers called while you were out yesterday and left a message. It's still on the answering machine, but please be careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe to overhear. We need to figure out how to handle this. I know the principal said her scholarship isn't in danger, but I still, but I still worry. Love you. So this is from Joyce. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Okay, Erin, finally use your pressure washer today and want to say thank you again for letting me borrow it. Works like a charm. It's not our dream house, but it's, at least it can be the right color. If you want to come over next weekend and give me a hand, there'll be a cold beer in it for you. Give me a call. So he sent it to his brother. Why not call? Let's see. Plane tickets. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, to so Phoenix? Cool. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's going to love it. Okay. So. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. 
That'd be good. Except for she'll be still working at Most two wheels. Strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? Love the design, though. So, I'm really Aww. remembering this. Chloe's parents are so cute. Aw, I love that. Still love it. Wonder if there's anything... Nope, not there. Okay, enough looking in the bedroom. Time to go see what's in this broom closet, finally. The entrance to the dark cavern is in there. Bluebeard's chosen hiding place for the mysterious amulet. It's in there? I thought it'd be like on the ceiling like other, you know, attics are. Is it a ladder or just a stairway? There it is. The dark There it cavern. is. See, I knew it. I don't know if everyone has that or not. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. Oh, great. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. Yeah, you mean this really convenient crate here? Maybe this will make me tall enough to reach. I wonder what those um, jugs are. I guess cleaning equipment. So this is a lot of space for just a clean, just for a closet. Unless it's just for the door. The it's a start. stairs. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. Let's see, what can I use though? Toolbox. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Wasn't there something here? No, I guess not. I thought I saw like a step stool. There it is. This won't be big enough for me to reach, but maybe I can stack things on top of it. Almost there. I just need a few more inches. Okay, so what else? Can I go back and close her? Chloe's room has always been home base. It's hard to think this might be the last game we ever plan here. Um, how about this box? Or no? What can I use? This chair? I can't use the chair? What else can I use? And why can't I move? Oh, the books. That's one way to use them. I think that should be tall enough. Yeah, but will he slip? Should be stable enough. <laughs> Besides, what's adventure without a little risk? True. Hopefully I won't slip and crack my neck. Okay, we can't we can't even get to see like the stairs, the ladder. Plus, where would this be amulet be? That kind of looks like um Chloe's thing. I mean, look at all the cobwebs. Someone hasn't been up here in years. Is there a light? I would say it's still scary. You never know what's gonna crawl right by your feet. Man, there is a ton of stuff up here. I see a baby crib. How will I ever? There it is. Right there, hanging from the Of course, the ceiling? Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. No sharpie boob jobs. Just hmm. three. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. <laughs> the amulet looks kind of cool from the side. Time to take a picture cheese 
I'll say, that's all are pretty. It looks like a watch. Get the amulet. Next thing you know, I just fall through the floor I and then in the can kitchen. Say, like, Max, what in the world are you doing? Okay. It makes me feel like there's going to be a choice later or something. But still, William and Joyce didn't see that? What? Look. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. Yeah, because William loves country. I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. Mm. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Man, this attic is spacious. I need to move that cooler, but this desk is in the way. Not to mention it holds a lot of weight. That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but... I, th I need to move that desk, but... Distressor is in the way. Okay, so move it. Probably Chloe's. There's no way William or see it has like One drawings step on it. Closer. Oh, I remember when Chloe and I decorated this. Um, more like it destroyed it. Hey, okay, time to pull this. Or push. Ugh, this desk's pretty heavy. Why can't you just like crawl over it? Do you really need to move it? I mean, if you can crawl over it, you get to the other side. I never realized how much I liked vintage things. This cooler is awesome. Now to make sure it works, that would be awesome. Glad this thing is empty. Throw all your sodas in there. Okay, now what? Again, you can't crawl over it. Yes. Man, I'm gonna need a map to get around this attic. But at least here we are. Now how am I gonna get back? Finally. Guess go the back the way I came. A fitting reward for a journey full of treasures. Feels like I'm in an Indiana Jones movie. I know there's gonna be a trap, otherwise why would it be like this? Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Isn't it a watch? Uh-oh. Who's talking? Nothing can stop the mighty Bluebeard. Oh, it's, um, Chloe. What well, where'd she get that from? Chloe Price. My best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. Too bad I can't take a picture. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. Still, it's the same thing. You're still afraid of someone and hurting you. Spiders. Yep. And now she sees Are me. you just watching me up there, Creeper? Sure, your feelings act natural. Oh, act natural. I don't want to... I'm just getting some light. No. This cavern Scare is off. even darker than I remembered. Did you conquer your fears? <sighs> you could say that. Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way.
You know, that's really sad. She f- likes me because I'm real with her, yet I'm acting fake. Even though it's trying not to hurt her feelings. <sighs> what would happen if I shared my feelings? Probably make her upset. I have no idea. And there she is. I love the cannon! Where did they get those from? Dude, you did it! No big deal. I didn't Bring get to Andy talk to Joyce. So I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Okay. Skateboard. All I'm saying is, I've never broken my wrist taking a picture. I'm really gonna miss Price family barbecues. Uh, soda bottle. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. I wish this was big enough to jump in. Looks like it's a trap. It'll be totally dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. Yeah, I'm not gonna be here for a few weeks. Paint supplies, painter's tape. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. One you time we stuck it. a bunch of this tape to Chloe's face to make a blue beard. Putting it on was a lot more fun than taking it off. And painful. See, the garden? This That's was pretty. a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. That'd be a really neat one. Instead of just pots, you can just put in a tire. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. In only nine years. Nine years old. I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. That's why she's trying to quit. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. It's so weird we're at different schools now. Mm -hmm. Ah, my greatest work of art. I call it how I lost my magnifying glass privileges. <laughs> Poor Great guys. Is never appreciated. Okay, how about this cute toy cannon? This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Does it shoot water? Actually, after this morning, I can. Swing. Glider swings. The best way to simulate a storm on the high seas. I never understood why it's called a Jolly Roger. How jolly can you be if you're dead? I think it's called for other reasons, but who knows? Look. <laughs> I wish I could freeze this moment and never have to leave it. Thankfully, they make pictures. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Walk the plate, land ho. Land ho. Land ho. There you go. Perfect. I like that shot. Well, I might as well stop right here right now since there's a lot more going on in the next part. But this is all for part one of Life is Strange Before the Storm. So tell me in the comment section of how would you tell Chloe that you're moving away to Seattle? Well, if I told her, I would tell her the truth and tell her everything. And I promised to visit her, like on summer vacations or after we get out of school or during the holidays. But I would try to have and, and maintain contact with her, whether it was email, texting, phone calls, in any shape or form. But I understand Max's um, point of view that it's hard to tell Chloe that she's going away, especially after everything they went through. And you know what happened to Chloe afterwards, where she, you know, she writes letters and Max never sends her the letters. I don't know why, and she, Max hasn't even talked to Chloe after she came back to Arcadia Bay. And remember, like, subscribe, share all your friends, and I'll see you more in my next video. Bye!